President to Governor Jane Hall of Arizona, okay, passed a law which basically allows this current governor all of his dictatorial measures, okay? That law was written in the case of, remember, this was following, you know, uh, September 11th, right? So it was, it was designed around bioterrorist attacks and things like that and actual real pandemics, not COVID. COVID's not a pandemic. You can't have something with a 99.96% survival rate, right? And call it a pandemic. It's a scam, right? So she ends up passing this law that gives this current governor, that these are the laws that he's actually acting under and allowing himself to do whatever he wants without the legislature being able to do anything, okay? 90 days following the, the, the creation of that law, once they passed that law, okay, Jane Hall raised upwards of, I think it's a little more than $90 million to create uh, TGEN, trans, uh, 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 anyway, the, uh, I can't think here, trans, uh, what's TGEN, dude? Trans, uh, Translational Genomics Institute, sorry. So 90 days later, they formed TGen, and TGen was specifically formulated to study coronaviruses and implement coronavirus tracking and surveillance systems, okay? The COVID Watch program that was started in Tucson, Arizona, COVID Watch was a nonprofit entity that was recently started, okay? It started as a nonprofit out of, out of Tucson, Arizona. This governor, former mayor of Gilbert, Arizona, Jen Daniels, were involved in this. They're the ones that basically worked on this technology. That technology was then sold to Google and Apple, and it's now on every single one of our cell phones, okay? All of that technology is being developed here. Why? The president of ASU, Michael Crow, okay, sits on the board of directors for a company called Incutel. Incutel is a venture capital firm for the CIA. And that'll just kind of give you an idea of what's going on in Arizona. It is the hub of the deep state.